Hey everyone, um, this is Prashant Kulkarni from Pixenic Studios. Welcome to our YouTube channel and today we are going to be doing basically again a product shot but with just one single speed light. No soft boxes, no diffusers, right? We are going to be using some uh, homemade props or something that is easily available in the market and using those as either background or as the base etc uh, etc et right so um, don't go anywhere we'll be right back stay right there hey guys welcome back so as i was saying earlier we'll be doing a shot of a product um, with just a single flash right so what am i going to be using i'm going to be using this as a product it's basically um, a body spray an axe body spray um, that that i'll be using for uh, for the as as the product and then uh, uh, i'll be using my naturally uh, sony camera and then i have this uh, flash it's it's basically a pretty old flash about I'd say about seven eight years old um, so we are going to be using this uh, this is my Sony a7R 3 camera I'm using a 24105 lens um, and for the base um, and, and as you can see for my background I'm not really using it I'm just using my wall it's a dark wall um, and then for for the base I'm just using this uh, basically it's it's a black sort of a velvet cloth so this is what i'm going to be using as the uh, as the base on the table right so let's uh, let's set this up okay now one thing to keep in mind is uh, to always ensure that uh, the the product is clean and you don't really have to uh, do anything uh, you know in the in the post processing of it at least as minimal you how much ever you clean you'll still uh, you know by the time you get the shot ready you get the product ready you get the uh, image uh, the final image it's still going to be uh, some time before uh, uh, meaning th there's always going to be some dust uh, accumulating on the product right um, so let's uh, let's quickly get going right so the first and foremost thing that we need to check is uh, that none of my studio lights are uh, or, or the video lights that that are there do not basically that they don't impact the the image right so to ensure that let's just take a quick look at uh, at the uh, let's take a quick shot and see if we are getting everything dark right so i click on it and then as you can see in the image uh, that will come up now uh, in a second here okay yeah there it is so as you can see it's not 100 percent dark i ca i can still see the product so basically the the video lights are impacting so let's see what what we need to do in terms of settings right so currently i'm set to uh sh the shutter speed is set to 1 slash 50 the aperture is f10 and uh, iso is 100 right so i'll move my shutter speed uh, again my shutter speed can go anywhere uh, up to 1 1 slash 160 so i'll just move it to about uh, 160 which is basically the sync speed for the for the flash i think 1 slash 160 1 slash 200 so let's take a quick shot again and see if we get uh, it completely dark right that's that's how i generally start my shoot just to ensure that none of my environmental lights or ambient light uh, impact my image so let's just take a quick look and uh, yeah this time it's as you can see the difference between this image and this image so it's it's pretty much dark right so uh, let's uh, let's start the shoot so first and foremost let's see how how do we want uh, and again this is not something that i've tried before so there might be some mistakes that i do and and it's a good learning for all of us to to uh, basically try it out right so let's um what i would like to do is just give a 
a, a small light in the background. So uh, what I'll do is I'll use this flash, go behind, and then uh, maybe maybe reduce the power. Uh, let me see, reduce the power to, now currently it's set to one slash two, I'm setting it to one slash 16, and then let's see what do we get when I hit it from the back, right? So uh, this is how I'm going to be doing it, and then shooting it like this, right? So let's see how the image comes up, uh, or if it even comes up, if anything comes up in the image, because I know the power is pretty low, yeah, pretty much nothing, right? So let's let's increase the power. Okay, right. So let's see what it does now. Okay, I know it's it's there's a uh, yeah. Okay, now this is very powerful too strong i i don't like uh as you can see it's 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 way way strong so i'm going to cut down the power to about one slash four it was at one slash one that's full power so i'm going to hold it at the same position pretty much and click and then let's see what happens and it's also on the, a little on the left so uh, again, uh, you know, while the image is coming up, yeah, as you can see now, for some reason, the image did not come all the way through. Why is that? Okay, so let's give it a try again. I'm going to hold it right below below the and give it a shot so while while uh, it's it's coming okay there it comes and for some reason it's dark why should that be the flash did not go through Okay, so let's let's try something. First, first and foremost, let me just position the camera in the center. All right, and then I might want to zoom in a bit to keep the product in focus. And as you can see, I've pretty much focused on the product. Okay, so let's quickly go on and see what happens now. I, I, this is just a trial I'm doing just to see where I should uh, I should keep the positioning so that I get a good uh, good light. Okay. So it looks like for some reason the images are coming dark completely. So I'm going to try changing some settings and see if that will help. I think that that did help a bit so okay so all I did was just change the, maybe it's a, it's a problem with the sync speed so I'm just going to reduce the power now I'm going back to 116 and I'm just going to see how it uh, how it works not much that's probably too low Yeah, I think I think that's fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it at one slash sixteen. 
and then I'm going to run a quick shot like this right let me see it should be pretty much in the center let's see what happens okay so that's that's better um, though it's still a little bit on the right so going to keep it here and then try it out naturally you don't get that smooth flow without a diffuser so what i've done is uh, yeah see the difference now what i've done is i've also uh, removed out the the diffuser and ensured that uh, i put on the diffuser the diffuser is not uh, enabled earlier or on earlier right so, so this gives me a little bit of uh, good stuff now the only only thing is it's it's too big uh uh, a gradient so I want to make it a little smaller so I'm going to move a little further away from uh, from the background and then I'm going to be shooting it this way right from right below the uh, so let's see how how it takes it okay it's gone back back to being dark so let's try it out again yeah okay so that's probably why so i'm going to give it another try okay that seems a little better i think i think i like this background far better of course ignore the white dots that you see those will be uh, post processed in um, those will be post processed in photoshop so i was just trying to see if i could get a base for my flash so that i can just leave it uh, down and just make some some movements out there so basically i've got the base here so i can now go and uh, basically just place it here and then see how it comes up so i'm just placing this right here and then let's see if it works yeah it does work but let's see how the background's coming up right okay that's far better i i love that that feel right so now we have the uh, so now we have the 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 background image so i'm going to just flag that so that when we start looking at post processing then we can you know use that image right um so now that we have the background i don't need this anymore right so what i'll do is now now let's take a quick uh, photo from the side okay guys so uh, now that we have the background shot we are going to now shoot uh, basically the the product right um, so for that i'm basically using a4 sheets to get a sort of a diffusion on the product um, this is basically going to act as diffusion material for me right so pretty much i hold it like this right uh, and then i hold my remote as well in one hand and then shoot it so let's see how it comes and that is okay looks like it's too low a power so i'll have to improve increase the power uh, it's at one slash four I'm going to try one slash two and then 
let's see what we have. Uh, we don't need this for now. Just move this aside. Okay, so it's I'm, I'm way too close to the uh, to the product, but then I love um, how how the diffusion has come up, right? So let's try it again. and see what do we get. That's good. So I, I get a nice, uh, nice diffused light. I'll just go a little closer and try it out. So that gives me Yeah, that's, that's far better. It's also quite diffused. So then now I basically do a little more in the front so that I can get some light on the front. Let's see this. Yeah, see that? Now, the same thing um, I do from this side. So basically, I will shoot. Okay, it looks like it will not shoot from here. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing is just leaving this, holding this like this. Right, so that should give me. Oh, ignore that image, that's pretty bad. Let's see the next one. Yeah, this is okay, but then because I left it down, um, it's it's only highlighted the lower part of the of the product. So um, I have to move this a little um, in the center of the product. One, I'm going to be doing from this way, right? Very simple, I mean, I'm not really using any, any major stuff, right? But we'll see at the end of the day, um, you know, the final image is going to come up great, as you would have seen. Okay, this one doesn't look like Okay, so I shoot again and then maybe increase the power as well. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's look at the image and uh, I think it's pretty okay, uh, except this except this part i think probably the shadow from my hand hit it so i'm going to try something again so one a little behind and then i'm going to shoot it um, and then one a little bit ahead and then shoot it again right so let's see those two images how they come up so Yeah, so I, I like both of these images. This is also soft, this is also soft. Um, so I, I could use either one of them, right? Now, so we have, we have the, so we have the product highlighted from, um, from the left and the right, right? So now it's important that we look at the label, right? The labeling is also important and equally important. So the way to do uh, the, the way to shoot the label is really from uh, the front. Now, what happens if you shoot uh, straight on from the front? Do you think it will be good? Let's, let's try it without any diffusion and straight, straight from the front, right? Okay. So this is how, this is right in front 
and then let's see what image we get right so it will take a quick second but oh the entire product is in and then you see those highlights this in the center and all of that stuff right we don't want all that um, so what we are going to be doing is basically shooting it from top at an angle right so let's see what what happens now so let's let's put it at this angle it's glaring for the eyes okay so it looks like that wasn't enough uh, let's try again okay so i know the paper has also come but i don't like it so much right as i said so now it's the power is already at the max and maybe we should try using just one paper let's try using only one and get this thing so what i'm going to be doing is just use a single um single sheet of paper instead of two i'm going to be turning it like this and then uh, try hitting it right from above the camera right but then now i'm i have a diffused um light right so let's see what happens uh how do we get the image okay i think i like this this is pretty good okay um maybe maybe just increase the power a little bit to let's say one slash two and then uh, shoot it again okay i think i like that okay so i was saying that uh, so basically i think i think i like this um is it clear yes and no I think it's pretty okay but let me let me just try shooting it from a little bit away and from on top right like this and then uh, see what happens okay looks like it did not work so I'm going to try again uh, what we get right uh, give it give it about a second or two more and then it should be up on the screen uh, yeah this is this is far better uh, yeah I think I like it uh, for for the final output that I'm looking at I'll just do a little more a couple of more uh, shots you could uh, you know just see how it goes right okay so i'm basically shooting it from multiple directions and then maybe use use whatever uh, you know i feel i could i could use any 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 of the uh, product shots i mean yeah right so um, that is it now now one other thing that i want to just give a try is something that uh, that will probably make it a little bit, little bit more uh, exciting um, and make it a little bit more, uh, you know, as if more entertaining, more, more exciting, more, uh, you know, the, the image will look much better than, than just plain simple uh, product, right? So let's give it a shot. Now I'm going to reduce the power on the flash um, to about half. And then I'm going to hold it right here and then hit the product as well as the camera lens. And then let's see what happens. Uh, 
that should give us some pretty exciting output by itself. You see that? So I really like, uh, so a couple of things that I like, one, you know, as if it's sitting out in the sun, I like the fact that, um, you know, there's, there's a wonderful shadow coming up, um, all that stuff, right? So um, I'm going to do a little more, uh, something more, and then let's give it a try now. And then I'm going to remove the hood and give it a try again. Yeah, this is from a, from a flare perspective. I like this also. We could probably use this image um, as well uh, in terms of how we how we shoot it, right? I mean, how we get use this in the final composite. I'm going to try one other thing. This might be a little bit too much, but let's see. Yeah, this is okay, but I would like to see what happens to take it further in. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to be trying a few shots from this side as well as a few from this side. Uh, just see what, yeah, this is, this is far better. So I'm going to try a few from this side as well and then determine what I'll be using for my final image, right? Um, okay, so yeah, these are some of the few images that uh, I'll be using. Okay, uh, so that's really it from a shooting perspective. What we are going to do now is basically uh, after uh, the, the next video is going to be about post-processing of this shoot. So, um, you know, go ahead and check out the post-processing video of the same uh, shoot and then uh, we'll, we'll take it from there. So uh, again, if you liked the video, if you, uh, you know, liked uh, what we did here, uh, feel free to subscribe and feel free to leave any comments, uh, etc. Uh, down below and uh, ensure, uh, ensure to enable the notification so that any future videos that come up you know, you'll be notified right away. Again, uh, thanks for watching our video. Uh, you have a great day.